A terrifying unknown virus has broken out in Mount Bu, South Korea. Within a few days, the entire city has become desolate, with bodies scattered everywhere. Piles of corpses are abandoned in the streets and alleys, unnoticed by anyone. However, just as the only remaining ambulance in the city is about to leave, a wounded mother pushes her unconscious daughter, who is desperately shouting for help. The compassionate female nurse, upon hearing the cries of a normal human being, immediately opens the ambulance door and places the mother and daughter inside. The mother desperately pleads with the doctor to save her daughter. The doctor and nurse busily examine the injuries of the little girl. However, the girl's condition appears grim, as she soon starts experiencing convulsions and spasms. The doctor urgently instructs the nurse to prepare adrenaline, and after administering the adrenaline to the little girl, there seems to be a sudden improvement. Her heartbeat returns to normal. However, while the doctor is reporting the situation to headquarters, the female nurse suddenly notices bite marks on the girl's arm. Alarmed, the doctor rushes over to inspect and indeed finds what appears to be bite marks. The nurse asks the girl's mother what exactly happened. The mother explains that they were involved in a car accident while driving, and the marks should be from the crash. Although the mother says this, the doctor is still not entirely convinced of her words. If the girl was bitten by a zombie and infected with the virus, they themselves might be in danger. Therefore, the doctor decides to test the girl for infection using a viral test strip. After extracting blood from the girl, the tested blood does not break the red line, indicating that the girl is normal and not infected with the virus. However, after a moment of silence in the ambulance, the girl's mother notices a thermal box containing vaccines. Her gaze becomes erratic, as if making a significant decision. Immediately, she reaches out to grab the vaccine from the box. But just as the mother is about to open the box, her hand is suddenly grabbed by the doctor. The doctor informs the girl's mother that the vaccines inside the box have long been depleted. The woman argues that she lost consciousness during the car accident, and when she woke up, her daughter was already bleeding profusely. She is unsure if her daughter was bitten or not. The angry doctor pushed the woman to the side and tied the little girl to the stretcher. The doctor shouted for the driver to stop the car immediately, preparing to push the little girl out of the vehicle right away. However, unexpectedly, the nurse voiced her objection. She said they had just tested the girl using a test strip, and she showed no signs of infection. The doctor argued that if the girl had been recently bitten, the virus might not be detectable in the early stages using the test strip. If the girl was indeed infected, they would have no escape in the confined space and would be left waiting for death. Having said that, the doctor prepared to cover the girl with a plastic bag and push her out of the car, but the nurse kept insisting on the possibility that the girl was uninfected and just a regular injured child. At this moment, the doctor lost his temper, stating that it was precisely because they were unsure that he wanted the girl to get out of the vehicle. As they remained deadlocked in their disagreement, the driver interjected, suggesting that even if the girl was infected, they might still have time to reach the hospital and administer the vaccine to save her. Upon hearing this, the nurse seemed to find hope and urged the driver to hurry to the hospital. The doctor, feeling helpless, stated that there were only a few vaccines left even at the hospital. Just as the nurse was about to make a phone call to inquire about the vaccine supply at the hospital, the doctor stopped her, saying he would handle the communication, while the nurse and the girl's mother anxiously awaited. The doctor concluded his conversation with the hospital. He informed them that the hospital had run out of vaccines and refused to admit any infected individuals. Saying this, the doctor was about to push the girl out of the car. However, the girl's mother, not believing the doctor's words, suspected he was deceiving them. She burst into tears and questioned how a major hospital could run out of the vaccine and how it would be gone by the time her daughter's turn came around. Holding a small knife, she confronted the doctor, but the doctor was not to be trifled with. He drew his concealed handgun and pointed it at the woman. With overwhelming dominance, the doctor pushed the woman to the ground. As the doctor was about to push the girl out, the nurse intervened once again, and this time, she slapped the doctor. In retaliation, the doctor delivered a forceful slap in return. Then the doctor ordered the driver to stop the car and instructed the nurse and them to get out. However, shortly after they exited the vehicle, the doctor heard countless zombies swarming towards them from both sides of the road. The doctor urged everyone to get back in the car quickly, or they would run out of time. But at that moment, the little girl suddenly started convulsing and trembling, even coughing up blood. The doctor said you should believe us now. 
She's going to mutate soon, but the nurse said it was probably the effects of the adrenaline the doctor had just given her. The doctor replied, with such obvious symptoms, you're still trying to argue? Just then, the blood coughed up by the girl splattered onto the doctor's face. The girl's mother tried to grab the doctor's pistol, but it fell to the ground. However, the doctor managed to overpower the woman completely, but what the doctor never anticipated was that the nurse behind him picked up the handgun and shot at him. Injured, the doctor witnessed this speechless scene in silence. Meanwhile, zombies began to appear gradually in the surroundings. The horde of zombies approached like an unstoppable flood. The two women lifted the girl into the car and prepared to drive away. The nurse desperately yelled at the doctor to run faster. Finally, the doctor climbed onto the car escaping from being engulfed by the zombies. But just as the doctor breathed a sigh of relief, a group of zombies broke through the glass and grabbed hold of him, no matter how the doctor struggled. It was in vain. The zombies clung onto the doctor and refused to let go. Even outside and on top of the car, it was now completely surrounded by zombies. The driver of the car did not escape being attacked and was bitten in the arm by zombies. As more and more zombies closed in, the girl's mother fiercely used a fire extinguisher to push the doctor out of the car and then closed the door. Silence filled the car. At that moment, something interesting happened. The nurse questioned the girl's mother about why she did that. The woman replied that the doctor had been bitten, so there was no hope for him. However, when the nurse asked if the woman had actually seen the doctor being bitten, the woman admitted that it was because of uncertainty that she decided to abandon the doctor. This statement echoed what the doctor had said earlier, but now their positions had instantly reversed. This statement not only mocked the doctor but also ridiculed the little girl's mother. This is human nature. The nurse watched as the woman went a little crazy trying to protect her daughter. Furthermore, she noticed that the little girl's arm was decaying more and more severely. So, the nurse recalled the doctor's earlier words and took out a testing syringe when the girl's mother wasn't paying attention. She inserted it into the sole of the girl's foot. However, just as the nurse was about to see if the test strip had crossed the red line, the car entered a tunnel. The flickering lights inside the tunnel made it impossible for the nurse to clearly see the result on the test strip. Then, during a rough patch of road, the test strip fell to the ground and was crushed by the wheels. On the other side, the girl's mother stood up, holding a gun, claiming that her daughter hadn't been bitten and was only injured, but the nurse, feeling a bit frightened by the woman's delirium, used the excuse of finding a bandage to keep her away. When the woman set the gun down, the nurse tried to reach for it. However, just as the nurse was about to grab the gun, the car collided with a zombie, capturing the woman's attention. Inside the car, a fierce struggle ensued. Meanwhile, the road outside was besieged by a horde of zombies. The driver, who was in the process of mutation, was also very excited. But as he was screaming, he was shot by the two women behind him when their guns went off. The car was barreling along unmanned, and the battle between the two women in the compartment was by now split between them. In her unwavering determination to protect her daughter, the woman overpowered the nurse and rendered her unconscious on a stretcher. She then took the driver's seat, preparing to drive the car. Little did she know that the driver, who had been killed moments ago, suddenly revived on the spot. The driver opened his mouth wide and lunged at the woman, although the woman managed to fend off the driver with a gunshot. She had already been bitten by him. As the woman focused on driving to the hospital, the nurse who had been left behind in the car regained consciousness. She pushed open the car door, intending to throw the little girl out. As the nurse was about to push the girl out of the car, the girl's heart monitor suddenly sounded an alarm. The monitor displayed a flat line, yet the girl stared at the nurse with wide open eyes. Just as the nurse forcefully threw the girl out of the car, the girl's mother grabbed the stretcher and shot at the nurse, ejecting her from the car. Although she had saved her daughter, they weren't in a better situation. The unmanned car rolled over, leaving both mother and daughter unconscious. The next day, when the mother woke up, she held her daughter and cried incessantly, repeatedly saying, my daughter is human, my daughter is human. Then, she collapsed. However, shortly after she fell unconscious, her daughter actually woke up and she hadn't mutated. The sudden twist in the plot was hard to accept at once, but the real high-energy twist was yet to come. The awakened daughter kept calling for her mother, trying to wake her up. However, the next moment, she saw the bite marks on her mother's arm. Perhaps the little girl didn't yet understand what it meant, but when her mutated mother slowly lifted her head, she would know the kind of outcome that awaited she.